Caston's here. I can see that. Did our surveillance confirm a location on his escapee yet? Not that I know. Show him in. Thanks for opening up your shop, Martin. Lieutenant. Sure. This is my partner, Maxwell. What do central detectives want with an escapee from South Detention? Prison recovery isn't exactly your regular beat, is it? Orders. It's all in the computer. We found Beatty in a two-flat walk-up on Tier 27, level 1826A. Tell your man not to move until central detectives on the scene. Confirmed. Thanks for the hospitality, Martin. Sorry couldn't stay for a coffee. I'm sending you out with two of my best. They know that neighborhood. I came here as a courtesy. I take whatever help you can spare. Oh, I think you'll find they can show even you a thing or two. Hume, Favre, Cast, and Maxwell, central detectives. They would met, and your reputation precedes you. I've heard about you too, detective. I need an assessor, I call one. You're in my yard, Detective Caston. This is a central detective's arm. I won't have you looking over my shoulder on a routine takedown. Detective Caston behaves as though central detectives were beyond the jurisdiction of the assessor's office. Yeah, it seems that way. Inside. I can't go back there! Go down! You don't understand. I found a way to beat the computer. I'm innocent. I didn't kill that programmer. CBB! Drop the gun! Get away from me! I got him! BD, just drop the gun! I found a way to beat that program. He's running! <laughs> I was thinking of making some tea. Do you want some? No, no. No tea. I didn't think you'd still be out. What's wrong? Something happened? No, it's, uh... It's nothing. Tell me. Chasing this uh, prison escapee. The, uh, the lead guy assigned to the capture, he, uh, he 
shot and killed him instead of bringing him in. And you don't think he should have? I don't know what to think. I picked up my things from all ends. Most, but I thought maybe there was a, there's still a few things you could help me with. You don't mind. You bet. I'm looking for a copy of Casson's report. It wasn't in the overnight dispatch. Central detectives has their own way of doing things. You won't see one unless your report contradicts his. On a shooting? I've seen the internal shooting board. Kasten says Beatty was armed and trying to escape. Your report basically says the same thing. Now, if there's something in the fine print that you're looking for that neither one of you flagged... What do you know about Kasten? I know he clears more cases in a week than most detectives do in a month. That's why he got promoted to Central. Look, Kasten is no choir boy. Everybody knows that. But there are very important people at the IPC who believe that we need cops like him. Especially now with this sudden upturn in crime and violence, both human and non-human. I've heard uh, stories about his methods. Not to leave this room. I think Kasten operates on the gray lines of the law. I think he and his men employ a level of violence that has absolutely nothing to do with police work. Frankly, he reminds me of you. Passion, commitment to the job. That's why I've taken such an interest. I want to see you on the right side of the line, not across it. Hume, my door's always open. David, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I just, uh, I have this feeling somebody's looking over my shoulder. I had that exact sensation myself lately. Ecom display Hume, David. Ecom display Hume, David. What the? David, are you going to tell me what happened on the roof last night? You have been very guarded since the shooting. There's, uh, there's nothing to tell. It's not already in my report. Up by the hollow records. Is one of our cases under review? No. You're following a gut instinct then. Your gut instinct is telling you to keep your mouth shut. Hey. I gotta admit this. This data link inside you, this, this two-way transmitter. I'm trying to deal with it. But it makes me uneasy. I know I, I understand your unease and I, I want you to know that I am doing everything that I can to rectify the situation. I am trying to find the source point of my maker, but David, a two-way transmitter is not an accurate description of what I am. I am, I am a flesh and plasma alpha in, in so many ways. I am, I know, Farm. I know.
computer that stores our reenactment files is as secure as any in the world. With these newer reenacts, you access the visuals through a low wattage recall style experience. Recall. Recall doesn't have access to it, of course. We gather all the evidence, witness statements, forensics, and so forth, and input it as visual information, the same way that a recall experience is created. Each reenact is logged by case number and sealed in its own encrypted file. Yeah, I have that case number right here. BD Ray, murder with circumstances. Used a beam weapon on a computer records technician. Don't like that. Evidence seems to be mostly circumstantial. Far, will you check the system out? The system is protected against outside interference, David. Humor me. You certified to evaluate the system? Uh, not specifically, no, but I have related experience, man. System integrity 100% as of three minutes ago, David. In this reenactment, you will actually be able to step into the point of view of any of the witnesses to see what they saw or hear what they heard. Have fun. to it soon. These girls look thirsty. Business like this. Like, 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 huh? Yeah, okay. Well, the disc is valuable, eh? And I went through a lot of trouble. I took a lot of chances for you so I could sell you. Then why don't you give it to me then? Not until you pay me what I'm due. I don't have the money with me. You show me the disc and I'll get it. What is this? A ripoff? You trying to shake me down? Is that what this is? No, 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 no. I need that disc. I need what's on it. But I told you, I am not doing business like this. Uh, well, you better start. What the? Ah! You didn't see a damn thing that night, did you? You didn't see a thing. Who verifies these reacts? The detective in charge of a case. And who was in charge of this one? Detective Kasten. Franco Kasten. the list of witnesses and pulled the relevant citizenship files without routing my request through central records. Stop. That's the one. 
Have someone check out the last known address. Bring him in for questioning. Tell him to use a traffic violation as an excuse if they have to. But that is not factually accurate. There is no such traffic violation. I know. It's, uh, it's a hunch. It's just a hunch. I had a hunch. I'm having a hunch. Maxwell. Hey, Hume. What's up? It's been a long time. Some place we could talk? I got a thing. There's fine. Congratulations on getting partnered with Caston. Yeah, well, we get central together. No. It's a social call or what? The speedy thing. It's old news. I want to talk about that for you. Come on, man. One of the witnesses, Evan Carter, he's got a blood alcohol level of 0.27 that night. He just happens to name every relevant detail of what went down in the alley. Just trying to understand how that's possible. Well, he's drunk, right? Didn't remember so good. Cass and detoxes him, and then he comes up with the goods. Who sent you? No. During his witness statement, Carter had a black eye. Did he have it when you brought him in, Maxie, or just after Cassin's detoxing? Hey, you nuts. Come around here asking these questions. Cassin is my partner. Don't forget to tell him I dropped by. did you send to find Carter? I am expecting a call from her at any moment. Tell me it wasn't Bayless. I found him. Where? There was no traffic violation on the record. My mistake. Detective, please continue with your report. He works as a night watchman at an old cathode ray tube recycling plant in the waterfront district, tier seven, level 43. I can still smell it. You're dripping. Don't either of you ask me for this favor ever again. Thank you, Bayless. I will key your address en route. I'll, uh, I'll get this one on my own. Say thanks for the help last night. Sure. I've heard good things about you. Yeah, I heard things about you too. Why don't I go around this side, cover your back? What do you say I cover your back this time?
poor guy. Some people just don't know when to stop drinking. Look, it kills him. Preliminary indications are that Mr. Carter died from a combination of alcohol and high-voltage misadventure. It looks accidental, but the metabolized content of alcohol in the stomach doesn't quite match up, so we're checking it. A more promising development is our analysis of the crime scene reenactment. I compare the visuals you saw in the reenactment with the original raw footage from the Forensics Division photo survey of the crime scene. So, here's what you saw or would have seen in the reenactment. And here's the original unedited version. I, ne I never saw that window. There is an apartment overlooking the alley which was deleted from or never added to the visual record. An on-site inspection should confirm that. I have to report that this case needs to be reviewed. Do me a favor and hold off on that. At least until we know what we're dealing with. I will locate the owner of the apartment should a review become necessary. I want to let you both know that by tomorrow morning, the assessor's division will have obtained a special judicial sanction to pursue what happened on that roof. Detective Hume has already filed his report. That file is about to get shoved under a high-powered microscope, and for your sake, I hope you've dotted all your I's and crossed your T's. You think you're protecting a good cop? In my experience, cops who stick together usually have something to hide. Get a good night's sleep. the record. Did anything unusual happen up there? Anything that would warrant an investigation? I may have some concerns with a react. One that may contain false data. I need to know if it's been tampered with. Those reacts are supposed to be unimpeachable. Our system of justice is based on that belief. Forget I said anything. Um, unofficially, I know a freelancer who programs those optical discs that Records uses. I arrested him a few years ago. He can add anything that you might discover. He can tell you if you're right. The owner of the apartment overlooking the alley is Amber Nelson. She is at home. Yeah. CPB, uh, can we talk to you for a minute? CPB? Detective Kasten told me to be quiet and not tell anyone about it. About what happened that night? He said that since I never reported it, that if I mentioned it to anyone who wasn't aware of my situation, that I could face charges. He didn't exactly tell you the truth. I, I, I didn't think so. But I was scared of him. You know, he, he told me the killer had already been convicted and that they didn't need my testimony. Can you tell me what you told him? Mr. Wozniak will make a virtual recording of your testimony. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure. Please continue, Miss Nelson. I work a three-on-three-off three off shift on a low-G orbiting medical lab. That night, I was getting ready to go back up and start my shift. I was in the shower. I was only in there for a few minutes. I guess that's when Beatty must have been killed. So I, I didn't see or hear anything because of the water. But I thought I saw someone on the roof across the alley. We have a problem with that around here. So I closed the blinds really fast. I didn't get a good look at him. But that's when I saw a light. It was like lightning or a jump trance. It was really bright. I work with lasers all the time on the orbiter. 
I should have known the difference. And then when I found out that the guy in the alley was killed by a laser, that's when I called CPB. And Casson took your statement himself? Yes. Did you get all this? It's on the disc. B didn't shoot him, did he? Take the far. He's going to set you up in a nice hotel for a few days. Just till we sort this out. Am I in danger? It's purely a precaution necessary under the circumstances. threatened her. I don't want to get anyone else involved in this. It doesn't need to be. This is good, Hume. Coming down here. That's what I would do in your place. If you come in now, Caston, this can be handled quietly without damaging the reputation of the department or the people around you. You're a stand-up guy, Hume. But you don't really think you can take me down, do you? Let's take a walk. His death was to put to an end dealings Deckard was trying to have with certain interests, namely to sell them information that was going to harm a lot of people, as I understand it. I got a tip. He was terminated. Oh, that's fancy. Why can't you just say you framed an innocent man for murder, then executed him? Deckard and Beattie were losers. Deckard, in particular, was a dangerous man who couldn't be dealt with in the strict limits of law. That's when I'm called in to do what the law will not. I've read your jacket. Be a lot alike, you and me. No. No, you and I are nothing alike. Oh, I see. You take care of situations that require clear-cut action. Like avenging your partner Blanchard. Or wasting Vincent Nagel. You see, I do know you. So you need proof of Deckard's illegal activities? How many lives were at risk from his betrayal? I'll get it. Or maybe even set up a meeting with my people. We've been talking about you recently. They hold you in very high esteem. Gaston. You probably don't remember this. But you came to the academy once. You told a bunch of us cadets that being a good cop meant something more than the job itself. A lot of people in that room I want to be exactly like you that day. A lot of things have changed since then. Look around, you see it too. This is a private number in case you need to get in touch. It won't take long. Show messages. CPB clearance, Hume. Show file, Parker, Judicial Branch. Show connections, Caston.
Are you all right? Who was that? I'm fine. Why don't you go back to sleep? I'm, I'm just gonna go out for a bit. You're going out? You just got home. What's wrong? You don't want to be here? Is that it? No, that's not what it is. I won't be long. I promise. You called me down here in the middle of the night. Your message was cryptic, to say the least. I want to go after Caston and whoever he's working for. Bring in whoever you think you can trust. What brought this on? Because right now he's counting on me to keep my mouth shut. OK. Let's leave out Callie and the assessors. We don't need them blowing it. Let's just keep this between cops. Why the change? The less people that know, the less chance there is of a leak. Or that they can get to us first. OK. You say how to contact him? I'm supposed to give him a call. When you call him, tell him you want to meet. Alone. I'll be your backup. to change your mind. Still having a little trouble believing it myself. People are anxious to meet you. Let me guess. They're shy. No, they're here. I want the witness first, Miss Nelson. You have her? Let me meet your people first. I need to know who I'm dealing with. <laughs> That's what I thought you would say. This on. What is it? Trust me. Right? Yeah, I trust you. Just do me a favor and move away. I won't do you any good in here, Mr. Hume. Come a little closer. I still can't see you. Better. Better. Who are you? In here, I'm anyone you want me to be. Out there, well, that's not something you need to know at present. Trust develops over time. If you want me working for you, I need to know who I'm working for. No, you don't. All you need to know is what we tell you. In return, we can offer you more than you can possibly imagine. For example, you can know all there is to know about your partner Favre and what he's doing here, if that's what you want. Yeah, I want that. But? But you're killing innocent people. BD was no innocent, Detective Hume, and neither are you. Frankly, we thought you were made of much sterner stuff than this. 
See, we've had our eye on you for quite some time now. Oh, yes. You're good. Very good indeed. You want me? You tell me who I'll be working for. The people you'll be working for, myself included, fulfill a need. We help keep the playing field level. We bring order to a world run by a computer that can no longer keep order. How do I know I'm not talking to the computer right now? Because if you were, you'd be dead. <laughs> Trust me. The computer has far less regard for human life than we do. It looks at all of us the same way as nameless, faceless input. And when that data is no longer useful, it simply deletes it. The computer doesn't make moral choices for the betterment of humanity like we do. The computer has no vested interest in the survival of humanity. But we do. Join us, Mr. Hume, and help keep the playing field level. He's careless. If I'm in, I make my own decisions. Very well. Regarding Caston, he's outgrown his usefulness. He's a dinosaur, soon to become extinct. You will succeed him, Mr. Hume. Or someone else will succeed you. I don't trust things I can't see. You get your people down here, I'm out. No one gets closer than you just did. You meet them in virtual reality. That's how it works. Then I gotta ask myself, what the hell were they thinking when they decided to work with someone like you for so long? This is no time for games. We've still the problem with your witness. No, you got the problem, Caston. You messing with me? a test of some kind. You don't know who you are messing with here, you. You have no idea. Look at yourself. What's happened to you, Kasten? You've been playing both sides for so long, you've forgotten who you can trust. Come on. They don't need you anymore. Kasten! Put the gun down! You're betraying the entire civilization. Stand with me against the machines. Put the gun down! It's over! For you. You? Judicial will take her statement. Even if Kasten cooperates, getting IPC to do a full inquiry is going to be like pushing water up a hill. So push him. Or tell him we take the story public. We have to go slow. We have to go slow until I find out how high this thing goes. You know, when I was going over Kasten's case files, I, uh, came across a name I recognized. Martin Arenthal. Years ago, Caston and I worked his first murder case together. A witness got roughed up. Why send me the secret messages? 
Why not take down Kasson in public? I gotta ask. Does he have something on you I should know about? Back then I had doubts, questions. But loyalty to the job stopped me from asking them. Kasten is, was, a good cop. He just crossed the line. And once he was across, he couldn't get back. I thought I saw the same thing happening to you. I couldn't let it go this time around. I trusted that you would do the right thing with what I could tell you. And I was right. You took a hell of a chance there. I don't happen to think so. So is this the end of it? No. I'm going to pursue this. And you should know that I'm going to back you. That the next time you go through a door and you don't know who's on the other side, I got you back. I appreciate it. Do. It's too bad I had to come to this. Hume, you don't remember anything that you saw in the virtual react at the warehouse. I don't remember anything. Good night. Night. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. No, you didn't. I was waiting up. Are you all right? Did you get things figured out? You remember what we talked about? A long time ago. About moving out to the new territories. Seeing a, a real son. David. We gotta go slow. We just know whatever I do next. I'm doing it for us. For us. <laughs>